Hello and welcome back to Crystal's Bites at Home. I'm in my garden and this episode is brought to you by Jibu. Jibu is very much a part of my home life. I use LPG gas and it is the most affordable gas in the market. Seriously. <laughs> Today I'm excited because I'm making something that I love, liver with onions. Now, there are places you go to and the liver is hard, it's overcooked and I want to cry because it is such a beautiful meat, organ meat, that is actually full of iron. So a lot of people who have an iron deficiency are actually told to eat liver. And it's so easy to make, the beauty is as long as you cook it quickly, it'll be tender and full of flavor. So for our recipe, we have some all-purpose flour, we have half a teaspoon of paprika, we have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper here. We have our fresh liver here, straight from the butcher. And I'm going to serve it with mashed potatoes, which are nicely pre-boiled here in salt and water. What I'm going to do first is the onions, and then I'll set them aside and then cook my liver. So for this, we'll use about two tablespoons of butter. So our butter is nicely melting and I am going to add our onion and more or less saute that. We do not need our onions to be finely chopped for this. Nice big chunks, uh, just enough. There we go. We want them to soften or soften <laughs> as some people say. Now while my onions are cooking. I'll just take down the heat a little bit. I'm going to mix my black pepper, my salt and paprika in the all-purpose flour. I want to make sure all my spices are nicely mixed in the flour and then we are going to dredge our liver in this beautiful mix right here. Okay. The whole time I'm keeping an eye on my onions. I want them nicely golden brown, not burnt. And we will take this off in a bit and then add it back to our liver when it's done. Our onions off and put them to the side. I'm going to give it about three to five minutes on this side and then I'll flip it over and cook it for another three to five minutes. As I mentioned earlier, I do not want the liver to overcook. So I'm going to turn it over and you can see that the flour has given a nice coating. Mmm, there we go. is almost ready now this is the point where I add my onions back to the liver there we go still nice and soft and now the onions are taking some of the juice that's coming out of our meat need a little more salt. I can honestly say our liver is ready. All right, I'm gonna take this off now and put on my mashed potatoes. So our mashed potatoes are ready. I'm just going to drain and then add some milk little butter and just a little garlic powder and then we mash and we're going to have a beautiful creamy mashed potato 
This is always a little bit of a workout. But if you want your mash to be really smooth and creamy, you have to go all in. You can always chop a little bit of onion as well and throw that in your potatoes as they're boiling. If you want to add more flavor to your mashed potatoes. <sighs> yeah, I am happy with that. Now, if you're a gravy person, you can always make a gravy, add a gravy. And now for my favorite part, the tasting. The mashed potatoes are creamy and our liver is soft on the inside. It's still juicy. <laughs> and I'd like to show you what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it is fully cooked, but it's still nice. Plenty of iron and just all around the yumminess. Heaven. <laughs> See you next time.